Welcome back into today's tutorial of TechPress. We're going to be exploring how to use Evernote for beginners into the 2023. This is a powerful tool for note taking, organizing, and achieving, and it's incredible burst study for both professional and personal use. If you're new to Evernote, this step by step guide will help you to get started. So let's dive in. Setting up your Evernote account is going to be first of all the first thing we're going to be doing here. First of all, you need an Evernote account. Head over to the Evernote website or download the application and sign up. We're going to be leaving you guys a link down below in the description so you can sign up totally for free and you might be getting a few rewards just by using this great account. Of course, they have the free, the personal and the professional account. So for this tutorial, we're going to be focusing into the free version only. So we're going to be focusing into create uh, notes, to having uploads, uh, how to create an actual notebook, organizing your dashboard and all of that. So let's focus only into the free version. Usually what we do, of course, in a lot of these videos is to sign up using our Gmail account since the basic information should be in, uh, imported right away and easily. So once you have signed up, you can take a moment to familiarize yourself with the interface. You have two versions on the Evernote, the dark mode and the light mode. So what I wanted to do is to choose continue. I'm going to close this. Let's go for, in this case, personal. Um, manage the course it was recommended and hit now and to skip the trial if you wanted to try it out the trial version the best for personal use you can go into continue in our case we don't want to do that so check it out we are now inside the actual Evernote you can see that we have into the lab hard the home the shell codes the notes, task notebook stack shared with me notes inside of here and inside that node all our old notes so making like a quick compare of Evernote with the blocks that appears into my own um, Microsoft PC, of course, this is like nothing that can be really um, uh, compared about because we don't have actually anything into this uh, mini blocking information. So I can just type in, but what we can actually do into Evernote is something much more more than that. So let's start by creating our first node inside Evernote. Click into the new node into the upper side. You can type in text uh, images, you can add images, you can add do do list, you can even add attachment fields. Uh, there's now audio and sketch stuff. So uh, your notes can be as simple or as detailed as you need it to be on them. So if you're using, uh, let's say for example, like an iPad or a tablet, you can use this to sketch and start to draw stuff note taking so text for example if you're using an uh if you're using an ipad whatever it's going to be much more faster so in, in this case in which you're a computer let's go for something much more easy for example just a note so your notes can be as simple or a detail as you need it to be so organize them by um organization of course with notebooks and text let's say for example that this title is for maths uh if i wanted to create like a new note let's say for example the to-do list I wanted to organize them into different uh, versions. So organization is a key in Evernote. You can group related notes together by creating notebooks. Just click into new. And what you want to do is to choose a new notebook. So once you find it in here into notebook, you have the first notebook here. So when you go into plus, and uh, let's say for example, that I just uh, don't focus a lot in here. We have my first notebook. And here, what I wanted to do into this new notebook is to change the name of my first notebook like this, which in this case, it would be school attachment or school notes. And there we have it. You can create a new notebook if you wanted to, but you needed to upgrade to create unlimited notes and notebooks. So we don't want it to focus a lot in that. We want to focus only into one notebook, but it's going to be really, really easy to create one. Now using Evernote's Web Clipper. One of Evernote's powerful features is the Web Clipper. Uh, it's a browse extension that let us save pages, articles, or PDFs directly into Evernote. This is a great research for saving reference materials. So with Web Clipper, you can keep all your important information in just one. How you can find it, you can always go into the show cards. Uh, you can go into notes or you can go into your getting started. So usually what we wanted to do now is to go directly into a new tab, go for Evernote extension. And you can see I have the web clipper already added in here. So this is the web clipper added to the brief. I add this extension and let's say that I wanted to look out for an article about artificial intelligence into the 2024. 
or into the 2025, for example, right? So the future of artificial intelligence, five things to expect into the new, next 10 years, for example. So now let's say that I wanted to add this. So I just uh, check out and pin my Evernote web clipper, loading the web clipper, and I save this actual article and I save this into my school notes. So I save this clip syncing and it's already been synced. So now I'm gonna make sure that this clip is actually working. So let's go and reload the page. I have my notebooks now, and there we go. The future of artificial intelligence, five things to expect in the next 10 years, and all the articles should be added in here since this is a web clip that we have just added inside my Evernote. What is better than that, guys? And that covered the basic of getting started with Evernote into 2024. And remember, Evernote is a versatile tool, so feel free to explore and customize to fit your needs. If you find the tutorial helpful, guys, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Sexpress for more versatility tool guides. Have any questions or tips about Evernote? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching the video. Here's your productivity with Evernote. Stay tuned for more helpful tutorials, guys. Hopefully, we can all see you next time.